everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob and today we're going to be testing out a new laser that I've got by Longer. It is the Ray 5 10 watt. Mm -hmm. So I've already got this thing unboxed and I'm working on an unboxing and setup video for this, but I've got it unboxed today and what I want to do is I want to run it through a couple of simple tests, see how well it does and see if it's any good straight out of the box. And then what I'll do is later on down the road, I'm going to do some more work with this thing over the next three or six months and I'm going to give you guys status updates to let you know hey it was good when I unboxed it but as I've been using it is it still good or is it not but today we're going to do first impressions right out of the box so without further ado let's get to work Okay, so the last thing I want to show you guys, which is pretty nice about this longer uh, Ray 5 10 watt, is the touchscreen controller on the front. Now, you don't have to have uh, access to a computer to run this. You can take this out with you in the field and, and run everything off of one of these little micro SD cards or TF card. So it already comes with a couple of files on it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in the top here and push it in. Then I can come down here to engrave. And we're gonna do a compass. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and hit frame. Then I'm just gonna, I'm on high speed right now. I'm just gonna engrave and I'm gonna hit carve and hit confirm.
had to change the battery. All right, so back to this. Um, we did the compass rose and we did that off of the TF card or micro SD card, which is what I have always called it. Um, but the drawback to that is, is the TF card, you have to put a .cg file in there. So like all my files are usually like SVG because I use Lightburn. So I tried to put a Lightburn file on there. I exported it out of Lightburn as an SVG, uh, put it on the card, plugged it in. The laser did not recognize it. That's a drawback for me. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't use the TF card anyway. If I'm going somewhere with my laser, I'm gonna take my laptop because it's got my light burn on it. It's got all my files. I got thousands of files on an external hard drive. So I wouldn't run a TF card anyway. So, I mean, it's not technically a drawback for me at that point, but that's just something so you know. Um, other than that, the, uh, they all, all these lasers all come with the covers on them. These little guys, now I live in Florida. Um, I do a lot of stuff out of wood. Um, the basswood always wants to warp because it's so humid here. So I have to use honeycomb pins to hold my wood down. And these these covers always hit um, on, on the honeycomb pins. That's, that's no big deal. I, I popped that off, it was two screws. I always have my goggles on, my safety goggles. So that's not really a big deal, but it is something to consider. Um, I wish they'd make one that, that wouldn't hit the honeycomb pins that wasn't like three centimeters off of the wood or something. Um, but it did its job so far as I, all I'm gonna say right now is that it acted like a 10 watt laser. It lasered through wood, it did the stainless, it did all the things that I wanted it to do. Some of the other things that I'm sure it will do because it is a 10 watt, you can do powder coated tumblers, you will be able to do ceramic white tile you know, with a medium on it. Um, like I use tempera paint, um, you will be able to do glass, uh, tempera paint on glass and not smoky beige, I'm sorry, on, on the uh, white tile. Um, so it's not nothing spectacular, it's a good laser, but I got some projects coming up here down the road in the next couple of months that I've gotta get done and I'm gonna use that laser to do it. So not only am I gonna say it's, it's, a, it's a good laser right now, but let's see what happens three and six months down the road after I've put this thing through the paces and used it for a while, is it, continue, is it gonna continue to work good or not? That's gonna be the final determination. So, but right now, not a bad laser. So if you wanna check that out, I'm gonna have some links down below in the comments where you'd be able to check out a, a link to that. You have a link to my webpage and all that. My Etsy is all down there. And other than that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, come back and see me in the next video. Have a great weekend.